Diggs. We've got Diggs. He said as a football hater. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> All right. Let's call me the order. Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call. Nick Monterano. Here. Floyd Duran. Here. Valerie Borsa. Clay Hart. Here. Andres De Leon. Here. Okay. She lost it. I did. <laughs> she it lost it. She had it. My <laughs> tongue <laughs> got <laughs> thick. <laughs> All right. Public comments? No one registered. Okay. Review regular board meeting minutes of August 24th, 2022. I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything. Else? Nope. No. Get a motion. Move to approve. Vote a second. Nick? Yes. Floyd? Yes. Clay? Yes. Andres? Yes. Okay. Review a financial statement. So for the month of August, uh, we had two million seven hundred fifty-eight thousand three hundred one dollars um, total cash on hand. That's up about fifty thousand dollars from the previous month. Our overall expenses are down one hundred twelve thousand seven hundred forty-nine dollars from the same time last year. Um, our accounts receivable as of August thirty-first have been nine hundred twenty-seven thousand dollars and nine hundred twenty-seven thousand five hundred twenty-one dollars. Um, and same concerns as we've had the last several months. That supplies vehicle gas and vehicle repairs. So we're still good. We're still under budget. We're still doing okay. So that's all I have. Questions? Okay, motion. Make motion to approve. All second. Nick? Yes. Floyd? Yes. Clay? Yes. Andres? Yes. Okay, review 2023 draft budget. Questions? Yeah, so on, on the salaries, I mean, I think I know, but we had 22 projected total payroll expense, I guess. 1.587, 25, and then the estimated is 772. So we're, we're spending less. I'm Obviously. lost. Where are you at? I'm sorry, payroll expenses. I, okay. He's looking at the 2022 projected versus estimated. Oh, versus estimated. I think yeah. she didn't carry it over. So I believe the estimated, that's only for half the year. Right. Oh, that's okay. Like, that's that up makes to sense. June 30th. Yeah. And so then the, the projected 23 is 1.6. So that, that makes sense. Right. She only did. So we basically doubled it plus okay. to come up with an estimate. Okay. That makes sense. <laughs> Any questions? You still looking? I I don't see anything. Okay. Can make a motion. Can make a motion. I'll move to approve. Okay. Roll call. Nick? Yes. Floyd? Yes. Clay? Yes. Andres? Yes. Gabe, you're up. <laughs> oh, let's see. September 9th, Dr. Wall, the wall came down. Um, we are talking to the company that contracts with the jail about possibly doing after hours medical stuff for them and how we can help with that. There's a lot of um, paperwork and stuff that we got to kind of figure out, so that's kind of put on hold. Um, do they still they, have somebody at the jail, or they we, do? They so still, this, yeah, they contract with the company. Okay. Um, in addition to that, we had brought up uh, the Pulsera app, and we've been talking with the hospital about that. So basically, what this app does is it allows us to send real-time information to the hospital as we're getting it. 
So we can put in um, just real quick patient information, name, date of birth or age, and then what the chief complaint is. Um, and so like if it's a stroke, um, we can hit stroke and we can send them an alert. They'll get an alert in the hospital, in the ER, and whatever we have put in that app, the hospital will be able to see real time. So EKGs, um, we can take pictures, we can take video and send them facial droop, that kind of stuff. So we're working towards doing that. Um, Dr. DeWall's already using it up in Teller County. They also use it for um, community paramedicine stuff. And so they'll go out and they'll do uh, like telemed stuff and they can get a doc on the line with the app and the doc can do the assessment through, through the app. So it's kind of cool. So we were looking at that. Um, <clears throat> So Quick Med Claims has finally released the transition packet to EMSMC. Um, so EMSMC is getting that and they're going to start looking through all the pending accounts and that kind of thing. Um, I've been emailing Quick Med Claims back and forth all day today. So they're auditing their accounts to see where they messed up in their contract with us. And so we're trying to work things out without having to go through litigation. So we're still working towards the resolution for that. Um, for the USDA loan, we sent the appropriate paperwork to Bank of San Juan's for the interim loan. So we're just waiting to hear from the appraiser and we're waiting on updated numbers from Beltry and we're hoping to start construction on the first. So that's the day we're shooting for. Uh, we still need the interim loan and the approval from the USDA to do that, but everything's looking good that way. Um, and just some quick updates. August 26th, we participated in the Exit 11 ribbon cutting. It was kind of eventful. Uh, we held an after action review that evening for the I-25 crash. Um, so there was a death in that accident and we had heard that there was some volunteers that were struggling with that. So we brought Danielle Kolakowski in just in case somebody had needed some um, mental health worker to talk. So we made her available for that. Um, August 30th and 31st, we had our annual mandatory driver's training. Everyone passed, that was held at the fairgrounds. We actually did combs, did the comb driving work and stuff, so that was good. Um, September, September 2nd, and that weekend, we had the Caveman Festival. So we went up, um, we looked at that setup. Everything was good, they had their command center set up. They had radios for our staff to be able to talk to their staff. So it was pretty seamless. Um, we didn't have any issues out of that. Um, September 7th, uh, Goal Academy was their homecoming and they requested to play volleyball against first responders. So we showed up and we played volleyball against them. That was kind of cool. They were really excited about that. Um, September 9th, so I got confirmation of our Medicaid supplemental payment. So the information that I put in last year, it would have been July 1st of 20 through June 30th of 21. Uh, we received payment for that. So we got $194,319 back in Medicaid supplemental payment. Um, September 11th, we sponsored the Healthy Kids Running event this year. Um, so what that is, is the kids from, I think kindergarten through high school, um, every Sunday for the last three Sundays, they go to Central Park and they participate in a run and they get t-shirts and, and stuff. So we sponsored them for that. So as a part of that for September 11th, 11th they wanted an ambulance on hand and they wanted to do a 9-11 recognition. So we were on hand for that. So that was kind of cool. Um, September 14th, like I said, USD confirms that we can use Bellshire for construction. So Doug came down and we did another walkthrough of the building and just ironed out what we want to get done. So everything's on track for that. We're looking good with that. Um, September 22nd, we did the Narcan training for um, Trinidad School District number one. So we're having to put, well, Nick's having to put Narcan in the middle school and the high school now with the way things are going. And as a part of that, he wanted to have the staff have some kind of training on what Narcan was and how it works. So Bubba went down there, or Bubba and I went down there and we did that. Is that an aerosolized? 
Yeah. It is. So it's the stuff that the health department gives out is four oh. milligrams. Uh, there's two doses in there. And it's, it's just a one shot deal. Once you give it, you give all four milligrams. Yeah. Cool. Um, yesterday I did the blue website testing. So what this is, is with the Medicare um, reporting data that all ground ambulances have to report in the next two years. They set up this website that we can go in and basically put in all of our information, budget information, employee stuff, invoices, billing, everything that we collect that Medicare wants to look at, we can put in this website. And once this website is built, we're gonna be able to transfer everything from the website into the Medicare, the CMS stuff that they want. So hopefully it'll be seamless and it'll help us with tracking. So what is the name of it? It's Blue, Blue, it's just called Blue. Oh, it's just called Blue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's something that they're creating. So um, the so you AAA, don't have to pay to do that? No, this, this is free. So um, <clears throat> we're members of the American Indians <clears throat> Association. And so they had a grant for something that they call AMBER, which is something similar that they're developing. So I got approved for that grant, so that's free. And then this is additional to that. And being a AAA member, this is gonna be free to us too. And we're gonna be able to use this long-term, not just for this. And so this is something similar. I've been working off of both websites, trying to get things lined out. So that'll be good for us. I wonder if the data will come back you know, this way, so you put all your stuff in, but can you pull data like you know, nationally or regionally to compare it to? I don't, I'm sure they'll put out comparisons. I don't know if we'll be able to pull it or if it's just something that they're gonna put out nationwide, but I'm sure they're gonna share the data because, I mean, they're, they think that healthcare and EMS in general is overpaid. Yeah. And I think they're gonna see that it's not the case. So that's what they're hoping. Well, they think everybody's overpaid. Yeah. And then the last thing I have is uh, yesterday I did the Medicaid supplemental training for this upcoming year. So that just opened up. I have to submit for Thanksgiving and then we'll look to see what we get by this time next year. So those are my updates. That's all I have. Good. Okay. Operation fleet. I think just one more thing to add uh, to Gates, uh, Darren and I have been selected to, Darren is the primary, me is the pri uh, secondary, uh, through an organization that uh, is for Teller County, um, but it's all the paid departments in Teller County uh, through our physician advisor, Dr. Dwall. And so what we're doing is we sit on the committee that reviews all of the, any kind of waiver acts like RSI, ketamine, <clears throat> anything like that. Also, um, cardiac arrests, anything like that. So it's like a big group that of multiple agencies that look at, which we just set through the first one, the 19th. Um, and they review everything after everything that happened in Aurora with the ketamine administration. Um, they, re they review anybody that's sedated for any reason. Um, so we're starting that process. It's another part of the QI, uh, QA, QI process um, that we're doing with them. And it's, it's, it's really interesting. Um, they use, um, I think we had, we had one on, on that for the RSI that John and I did in Angular for the, the uh, call that we had to RSI the patient. Uh, other than that, everything went well. Um, so uh, we're doing that. That's um, online? Virtual, yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we had 208 calls for service, uh, and this is obviously for August. Um, and out of those 208 calls, we ended up with 214 reports. Uh, some of the calls were had multiple patients. We had 36 uh, inner facility transfers uh, for a total miles. Inner facility was 7,284. We we're a little down, um, a little down from last month. I think there was three from the month before that we were down. Um, and the miles were down a little bit more because it's actually nice. Parkview is actually taking more patients now. No. So so that's kind of nice. 
Um, uh, Medic 3 had no calls uh, this last month, and uh, Gabe did two <coughs> reports, and I did two reports. Um, we did have an accident in 1901 um, on a transfer. Uh, we were transferring a patient. Um, well, the transfer was to Denver, Aurora, uh, coming back, so there wasn't a patient involved or in the ambulance when it happened. Um, basically, in the construction around Monu or uh, sorry, Fountain, um, the crew was in the left lane passing a, a gasoline tanker and the gasoline tanker came over and sideswiped the side of the ambulance. Um, so it was down for about a week and a half until we could get parts. Um, the repairs, uh, the majority of the repairs will have to be done when that truck goes in to get remounted because paint and body work that will have to be done. Uh, but we were able to get the hinge and the, the door working and back in working order. Uh, so we're able to use that and it's back in service. Um, Like I said, remainder of those repairs are going to be done when it's remounted. And as far as that goes, the remount for that, that's a truck that's supposed to be remounted or already have been remounted. Uh, talked to Exelon's Monday, and they still have no word on a VIN number for us. Um, so we are um, waiting for the scope of work from the state on the next one. And that uh, order bank for 2023 chassis opened uh, October 17th. So um, at the time that I wrote this, this report, uh, we had uh, four of the five units in service. Um, and until the crew just texted me, we had five of the five units in service, but now the AC's out in 1801, so we're, it's still functioning, still in service, but we'll we'll get that repaired. So other than that, everything's going going fine. So that's all I have. All right, miscellaneous. We got a couple things to talk about. Miscellaneous. <coughs> get the Dola thing. So uh, I had sent that email back or out to everybody. When did I send that? Um, on August 30th yeah, for you guys to bit. vote yeah. as to whether or not um, you would be willing to uh, expend $750,000 to match a DOLA grant of the same amount should DOLA award oh. us the grant. And I have um, those results and the explanations here, so I need to read uh the email and the voting thing so we can get it into the minutes so on august 30th i sent an email to the board i've been working on a draft application submission date august 31st for a matching dola grant in the amount of seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars for the 13 840 highway 350 renovation project i have confirmation from dola that our matching funds can be money received through the u.s DA loan, which has been obligated for the project. What I totally overlooked was the fact that the board of directors would need to approve expenditure of the matching funds in the amount of $750,000. Due to the grant application submission deadline, I am asking for you to vote yes or no to the expenditure via email. The email results and any communication regarding such will be entered into the September meeting minutes. So the question um, that was emailed, should Dola grant $750,000 toward 13840 Highway 350 renovation project, do you approve Tad's expenditure of $750,000 matching funds? Responses were yes, four responses, and one no response. So I need um, someone to motion to make a motion to accept this into the meeting minutes and a second, and then we'll vote on it. I'll move to accept it. Yeah, yeah that's pretty good. second. Well, I, I didn't understand. Okay, so now we're gonna vote, do a roll call <laughs> on that. Nick Moderano? Yes. Floyd Duran? Yes. Valerie Borsa? Yes. Clay Hart? What, what are we voting on? We're voting to, to, submit, to submit, submit this into the meeting minutes. Yes. Andres Dillane. Yes. 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 Okay. 
<laughs> so we voted on so, the email that she had now you have to get it. Have to, well I just have to get it read into the meeting yeah. minutes so that it's it's public because it's a public action. Yeah, if you get seven hundred thousand they're gonna give you. I mean you're using that money anyway, so right. I add an extra seven hundred fifty thousand, that's Might well. you're right. Mm -hmm. So we'll just let it go with that. Good with that. Yeah. I'll leave you with that then. Okay. All right. The next thing you talked about is Dan submitted um, three receipts for some classes he took as an instructor. I only issued them these three classes that he took. They're not for EAD. I know his contract says, so my recommendation would have to send this to Les just to make sure that we are within contract. Well, I, I think the contract, I looked at it briefly, Says that yeah he gets uh, you know he can get tuition reimbursement pay reimbursed for those classes but they also have to benefit us right. so I I don't understand how they I I guess I don't know the classes but I don't see um, how they benefit us they don't That's so yeah you know, firearm stuff right, right. yeah it's yes. benefits yeah. obviously the different yeah. agencies if you would read the the headings of the recertification um, says less lethal impact projectile instructor and Flash sound. Um, yeah, chemical agents instructor certification and flash sound diversion, diversionary device instructor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't see how that. I mean, we probably need, yeah, we need to have less look at it. Just home. because, I mean, we're, this is a critical moment we're going through to make sure that we are, think we are on the up and up. I mean, if it costs us a few dollars, I'd really just make sure that it's on the up and up to make sure that, okay. And I'd have to double check did we, do we have to approve trainings before he? Uh, it was all part of this thing, but this doesn't benefit TAD by any means. Right. right. Yeah, it so. says certifications that he had when he was here and that it benefits TAD. That's what I thought. So I think you have to have both things in place. And I don't see how the second, you know, how uh, benefiting us is in place. Right. So I would think we would not reimburse those. That's what I said. Maybe have a less look at it and then if it's it's table yeah. it for next month. Or table for next month, or if it's if Les says we need to pay it, just yeah, keep pay it. I mean, that's Would, yeah. That's, it's, in the, it's, it's, it's within the spending limit. It's a total of two hundred ninety-seven dollars yeah. for all three. It's, I I get it. I'm, I'm with you. I, I'm totally with you. Right. So do you want to table it till next October, or do you want to give Gabe the authority? I guess to the, act once he yeah. Once gets we hear from Les, list. if Les says pay it, then I say have Gabe pay it. But if I agree with he that. says no, then we don't pay it. My can, audience right now is can we clarify for the future though, or is it caught in are we gonna be limited to that contract? Right. That, well, they can get, they're limited because to, uh, once we pay this, right, it's gonna open the door for right. We'll okay. see if Les can clarify if in writing. Yeah, yeah, if, right. if, if there's something that we're bound by then Yeah, I just don't wanna get us into another right. issue with this contract. I don't wanna get us into a legal issue. For sure. We can avoid it, I mean I would take her up front, but I don't agree with this because obviously it doesn't fit. It doesn't benefit the TAD, but let's get the lawyers information on that. Question anymore? Anything else, miscellaneous? Uh, yeah, one question. Remember when we here a little while ago when we decided to buy the building out on 350 and we went ahead and purchased it and said we would reimburse with the loan money, with the USDA money, to put our 700 some thousand, was it? Put that money back in our fund. So I think we have to remember that. I, I agree. Yeah. I think we're waiting on that USD to get the final approved, right? Yeah. yeah, I think the way it's probably gonna work is, so we're getting that 3 million, 3.1 million, whatever it is. And so whatever, if the construction comes in cheaper than that, then we can give that money back and then we won't have the loan Correct. as long. Correct. But we should, we should remember that we promised to put it back in our fund now. The fund was a building fund, so you, you think that maybe ultimately that money's going to come back out for the building. And I don't want to. I don't want to be on record as saying one thing: we'll reimburse ourselves in that fund, and then, and then else. we don't. You know. I don't remember. Uh, it's been something like whenever that. Whenever we, whenever we went to purchase that building, it might be in the minutes. Maybe we should check those and see what they say. That's just my recollection. But maybe okay. we should check the minutes. I think it was something similar to that. I don't because that. we're obligated to 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 have skin in the game right. via yeah. USDA, yeah. and part of that I thought was yeah. part of that skin that was, was the purchase of the property. That was my understanding too. Yeah. I thought that we had budgeted, we had a budget of 
a budget line of it was like one point some million dollars that was going to go for the building. Right. We chose to buy the building ahead of time right. because we didn't want to lose it. Correct. So I didn't, and and we can check that. Just check it. And just, whatever whatever it comes up to be. It, it, yeah, I just would be interested in what was in the minutes. Okay, I'll find them and we'll, we'll have it like next a year month ago. if that's okay. Yeah. Probably been longer than yeah. 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 Maybe. About a year. Maybe about a year. Yeah, you're right. Can't say one thing and then do it. Yeah, that don't so. no. <laughs> Anything else, miscellaneous? Uh, sure. For fleet, did, did we ever look into the whole deleting those diesel engines, the public safety factor of that? Or where did we ever end up with on that? So, or is it even still an issue, or is it still? No, it's going to be an issue. Okay. It's going to be an issue, and why it's going to be an issue is because now with us not getting, so we're already talking about looking at our gas, and I know we've had conversations that, you know, do we go with gas, do we not go with gas? So what um, Floyd's pertaining to is, in 2012, the EPA had approved um, basically making modifications to the diesel engines because of the fact that they'll lose power, they'll lose torque, the loose speed in their emergency and the emergency vehicles for fire trucks and ambulances. So there's still some more research, and and I told Gabe I wasn't ready to present it yet. Okay. Um, but it is something that's going to come before the board. Um, I know as these trucks get out of warranty, um, I know we've put two just the heaters for the def tank. It was fifteen hundred bucks a piece. So we put two of those on. Uh, we've had to make numbers uh, quite a bit. I don't have the actual number, uh, but quite a bit of money out of our pocket because of those systems. Um, so I'll do some more research, and when I have that ready, um, okay. we can bring it to you. Thank you. And then with the, the, the accident, the ambulance was in, is the, I'm assuming the truck driver was found at fault? So nobody was ticketed. Um, I've requested the accident report from CSP. Uh, we were labeled as vehicle two, uh, which usually vehicle one is the is at fault. Um, so that's all we have right now. Um, so once we, my guess is, is we'll probably turn it into our insurance and then they'll go after them, okay. um, would be my guess. That's a horrible right. little section. Yeah, I was just curious who's yeah. paying, who's going to be a thing well, responsible for the, the damages or not. So. so as far as we know, we haven't got the report yet. Okay. So, um, but as far as we know, that we were not the uh, fault. Okay. Anything else? Okay. okay. Looks like the next board meeting will be October twenty sixth. That will also be our budget hearing date. <clears throat> Did it come earlier or same time? Same time. <clears throat> All right, make a motion for adjournment. I'll make a motion to, to adjourn. So the next thing, do you have the 26th or the 27th? 26th. Okay. 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 Thank you. Yep, so Wednesday. Okay. So I've got a motion for adjournment. Second. Wait, who made Clay. first? Floyd? I did Floyd. First. And then Clay? Clay. Roll call. Nick? Yes. Floyd? Yes. Valerie? Yes. Clay? Yes. Andres? Yes. You're just Andres from now on. That's fine. <laughs> but pick it up for your kid game? Yep, 15 minutes to spare. There you go.